adventurers! I'm Grey, and welcome to another Hytale news update. It's been a while since I've done one of these, mostly because there hasn't been any big news on Hytale in a long time. My personal philosophy is I don't want to make a video unless there's something big going on, something important to talk about. I know other channels can talk about theories about Hytale, some stuff the community's been doing. I just want to talk about the big stuff, and I also don't have too much time to make all sorts of detailed videos. But there's been some rumblings in the community recently and some important updates, starting with this one, a message to Hypixel Studios on the Hytale Info subreddit. This is by Fineapple Films, and it reflects a sentiment that I feel like a lot of people have been having, which is basically... Give us more news. Be transparent. Come on. So we're going to begin by reading through this, and then we're going to look at some responses because Noxie from Hypixel Studios has actually responded to this and provided some really important info about future blog updates and news updates along with transparency from the studio. It's pretty interesting, and I'm going to give some opinions on it as well as we go through. So first of all, please read this through. I'm positive I represent not all, but the majority of the community's thoughts here, and they will correct me if I'm wrong. I know I can speak for most people here in saying we are very excited for Hytale. Obviously. Most of us are being patient, and I know this is a necessary thing. Here's the problem, though. Over three months, all we've heard is a couple of tweets saying you will be transparent. You've failed to do that. Look, we get it. Development takes time, and you don't want to disappoint. Duh. But the bar is just so, so low. 30 seconds on Twitter. Development is going well. The blog post is taking longer than expected. Please be patient. I don't think we can make the blog post right now. You used to keep us in the loop, but we were starting to feel this the last time you updated us on the development in July. The problem isn't that you're quiet. The problem is you're quiet when you say you won't be. The problem is you're smearing your name as untrustworthy and unprofessional. This may sound pretentious and I'm sorry, but again, the bar is so, so low. Look, you can be quiet, you can take years to release the game, you can do anything you want and the community will wait. But the one thing that will destroy this community right now is false expectations. It's the only thing you need to do. Manage our expectations. It's okay to not be it's okay to not be able to hit targets like a few weeks. But tell us that. It's okay if the game is years away. But tell us that. It's okay if you don't know if the game is years away, but tell us that. It's okay if you're not communicating for a reason, but tell us that. We're too busy is not an excuse to let your promises become lies. You say you understand that, but you've had months to act on it, and you haven't. The problem here is you are demonstrating no respect for your community, you owe us nothing, but you can't expect us to sit around and be ignored or disregarded. Too busy is not an excuse to not tweet every week or two. Even if you have no intention of it, you are lying to your community. Understand this isn't a small, ah, that's our bad, issue. You're disregarding us and it's getting to the point where you're turning the core community against you literally because you can't send out a tweet. If you can't be trusted to send a tweet, how the actual hell can you expect us to believe you're going to make a good game? Personally, I still have plenty of faith in you and I know you're new to this and it's anything but intentional to make the community feel alienated, but a lot of people are getting pretty upset and you're the only ones who can fix this. Thanks for listening. Sincerely, a patient supporting fan of yours. Now, this message is pretty strong as you can tell and it has some very good points in here worded in a respectful but strongly worded way trying to give constructive feedback to hypixel studios and i like this post here i don't fully agree with everything in it because i'm a rather patient calm guy myself but i agree with most of it and i do think that hypixel studios needs to keep us more in the loop they need to keep us more aware provide more updates and not lie to the community am i the only one who thinks that around here Anyway, I know a lot of you guys are very excited about the game and want more news updates to come out, want the studio to do better, to be more con communicative with us, to be more transparent. And based off the comments here, people tend to agree. This guy says that people shouldn't take this as hate, they should take it as criticism. And I basically agree with a lot of these comments here. Like Nessie Snass says, they're adding a thing. At this point, the promised community update that was told to come in a few weeks is expected to be something big. If their original plan was to apologize and make a fan art showcase or something else small, they can't do that anymore. Basically, them waiting to give us any sort of update is making things harder for themselves. I think it would have been better for them to just provide small news updates every week in like maybe a really short, maybe two paragraph, three paragraph blog post, just talking about their development, kind of 
how they're doing, even if it's just describing how they're feeling about their development and things like that, that's fine. Just keep it, keep us in the loop, keep us involved in some way or another. That way we're not just waiting here with empty hands, expecting them to just drop pocket change into our hands and be excited about that. That's not how it works. We have to be given this info regularly so that we can know what to look forward to instead of losing traction in the community. It's very important. So I want to move on to another post on Reddit fairly recently because apparently Reddit found out that it was Noxie's birthday recently. And congratulations to Noxie right here. Noxie at Haito. He is the project lead for Haito. And basically for his birthday, a funny thing, the comment says for a gift, let's not care about when a blog post is revealed. And Noxie posted on Twitter about it. He said, Reddit has discovered it's my birthday and the top comment is, is that my gift will be not stressing about the blog post for a day. I can't lie, this is pretty hilarious. I hope it's okay to have a sense of humor about this. So you could tell that he's a little bit stressed about it and he feels like there might be some uh, tension in the community right now, but he's taking it pretty lightheartedly and having fun with it. So that's fine. Thanks Reddit. And yes, we have been stressing about it, he says. So I, th I know, like I've, I had the feeling Hypixel Studios is aware of this concern. They know about it, yet they haven't done anything about it. And I feel like they're hesitant to do things about it just because they know how expectant people are for something big. People want something important in the next update because it's been so long. And they've set up this expectation for themselves that they're not sure that they can meet now because of that. For me, it's similar to the Half-Life thing to a much lesser extent. Because with Half-Life, Valve is never going to make a Half-Life 3, though they have unveiled Half-Life Alex after all these years. Note how they didn't call it Half-Life 3 because they don't want people going in with the expectations of it being a Half-Life 3 because that would mean that people expect it to be revolutionary, to be extremely phenomenal based off of the quality of 1 and 2, and they probably can't meet the expectations for it. It's a similar thing here to a lesser extent where they've waited so long that they can't meet the community's expectations. And Noxie responds in this birthday Reddit post, providing some really great info. So he says that um, taking our time when we said we would be more communica communicative is really not okay. Though when it comes to the topic of relaying info, it's been super crappy of us. We made that promise and then a whole load of crazy unexpected circumstances got in the way. We've been untangling those ever since. Though I understand the spirit and intent of your message and really appreciate it, it's touching. The next blog posts or blog posts are going to address a lot and give some insight into what we've been up to. It's been an interesting journey the last few months. I just got back from a business trip and was hit with a flu right away. Really sorry about that. Yesterday was my first day back on task. Anyway, there's some answers coming up in the not too distant future. Not all of it is going to be great or what people want to hear though. Everyone wants to hear that the game is coming up basically tomorrow. That is true, which won't be the case. It will at least, however, provide more clarity because part of our mistake here is that we wanted to wait until we had certainty for our next communication. And then that certainty took way too long to achieve, resulting in us being too silent far too long. Some of the upcoming topics we discuss will address this directly and in more detail. So summing up this whole response here is they're aware of these problems. They've had lots of unexpected stuff go on. Once again, transparency. I want transparency. What are these unexpected circumstances? What is getting in the way of making these blog posts or Twitter posts? I, I can't see anything causing these problems, this hesitation, other than their own personal like, concerns about the quality of the blog post or the quality of the post. They're afraid of the response to it. That's what I think. And I think that they need to get over that and just suck it up and just post something, regardless of whether or not it's something huge, just something. Even if the community response is, man, I expected something so much better. Trust me, Hypixel Studios, Noxie, people are going to be all right. Maybe not ecstatic, but they're going to be fine and much more happy if you post something, anything, regardless of how big it is. So long as you're communicating, that is much better than no communication at all. Some communication is, in my opinion, better than making one big blog post maybe once every six months. People need to be constantly updated, not be given these big info dumps very rarely. That that's the worst way to do it. Also, from what they from what they've said here is they plan on future blog posts being big, as they've said before. Once again, that's a risky thing to do since it might increase expectations to an unattainable level. But 
I'm assuming when they say that they have something planned, so hopefully they're able to do something nice with it. Also, they're apparently going to do a, some sort of a message, either a tweet or a blog post, probably a blog post, addressing this topic directly and in more detail. So they're going to talk about what's been going on in the studio, how development's been going at some point, I assume in the next blog post. And speaking of that, they've replied again, Noxie has replied again later down this chain, saying, I'm cautious about giving specifics, but that means soon, either this week or next at the very least. And that was 14 hours ago from me you're looking at this right now so sometime either this week or basically at the latest would be the end of november sometime in november they're apparently going to do the next blog post and it's going to be a big one that's the big takeaway right now a new blog post in november it's going to be huge going to cover important topics predictions as for what the topics are i can't really say there's so much that needs to be covered right now that hasn't been covered my hope is a name registration i want to set a name for myself a username in the game i don't think that'll happen i think that'll happen next year i think the game is still a year or more away that is my personal thought might come out next year i would say probably late next year and my initial predictions for the game's release were very wrong i remember when the first trailer came out it looked pretty good already back then and i thought it would come out in the summer of this year that did not happen clearly and I would just like more transparency as for how development's going so we can have an idea of what we're waiting for, what to look forward to, how we can get started in preparing, like coming up with ideas for things to make. For example, if they tell us what features would be in the game, some things that they're working on, we can plan out maps and mods and things like that. So yeah, I, I'm excited for this new blog post and I'm making a formal request to Hypixel Studios to please, please, give us more updates like it, it i've been not paying too much attention to hypixel or hightail recently over the past month two months three months haven't been doing many videos on it because there hasn't been enough news on it it's killed my hype for a large part like i'm still excited for the game it's still my most excited game coming out in the future but i can't really say that it's my most excited game for the future because i don't know when in the future it's going to come out so hopefully if they start updating it more, I'll get more excited again. I'll post more high tail based videos for now though. This is the update. And if there's more info coming out in the future, along with the next blog post, I would certainly cover it. So hopefully you all enjoy this little high tail news update. I'm going to get back to studying pharmacy because I am going insane, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all on the next adventure.